news. Corona. Cancellation. 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 I need a spa day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today is another episode of Boredom Busters. Just because we're stuck at home does not mean we have to be bored or stressed. So today, I am going to be doing a DIY at home spa day. We need to treat ourselves once in a while. I mean, look at me. Not my best. You're gonna love these because you can do all of these at home with things that you have around your house. Achoo. Oh, wait. Before we get started, we're going to do a like button challenge. You have to press the like button with your hmm, thumb, knuckle. Have I done that before? I don't know. You press the like button with your thumb and knuckle in five seconds. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? If you didn't, give yourself a pat on the back. Now let's get the spa day started. You know when you go to a spa and they make you some type of infused water. It just makes you feel so refreshed and sparkly. So I'm going all out and I'm not going to just make cucumber water. I'm going to make cucumber, strawberry, and lime. Now you may be wondering, why aren't you using a fresh lime? Because they don't have any in stores, because of this craziness that's happening in the world. But we're just doing our best. <laughs> so I'm just going, I have some ice water right here. I'm just going to plop these cucumbers in here. Bam! Now the strawberries, my favorite part and a little bit, a splash of lime. Splash. And ta-da! You've got your cucumber, strawberry, lime water. Let's taste it. Mmm, that's really good. A little tip for you guys, if you know you're gonna do a spa day, then make this drink the night before because the longer it sits, the more the juice comes out of the strawberries and cucumbers and it tastes even better. But don't forget to put it in the refrigerator because then it'll be all warm and gross, but whatever. I don't really have the patience to do that, so I'm just gonna drink it now. I really wanted to do a face mask, so I looked up the best of the best honey DIY face masks. Why honey? Well, one, I have it in my closet. Two, honey is super hydrating and it's a natural antibacterial so it hydrates, it smooths your face out, and it also helps fight off acne. It's a win-win-win situation. You probably have all these ingredients at home, so it's a great thing to do when you're stuck at home. All you need is a teaspoon of baking soda, okay, a teaspoon of lemon juice, a oh, tablespoon of honey. Honey, perfecto, now we just mix. Mix it up. They said in the article that I read, it said that it may fizz, but it won't fizz on your face. So that's a good thing. And there we go. There is our honey DIY face mask. I am ready to apply my face mask, but I'm just going to tell you that I put this face mask in the fridge for like two minutes because it was a little too runny and I didn't want it to like drip off my face. You know, so if yours is a little runny, just pop it in the fridge for like two minutes and much better, it's much thicker. And you may be wondering, what is this I have on my head? I put this little headband on so that it would not get in my hair. I can only imagine what honey feels like in your hair and I do not want to know because I had to put corn syrup in my hair for the eat it or wear it challenge. Bad, it was a nightmare. So, just not going to get in my hair. Now, time to apply the face mask. And when you're applying, you see this little circle right here? The bags, do not go inside the bags. Just keep it along that line. So, it's just a little more sensitive here. The face mask is officially on. You can't even really see it because it's almost my exact color which is kind of cool. I feel like I'm glowing. 
I can feel a little bit of like tingling, which I feel like is good because I feel like it's going in my pores and like unclogging it. Declogging? Ugh, that kind of sounds weird. But you get me, you get me, right? Hopefully that's a good thing. And I'll keep this on for 10 to 15 minutes, so I'll see you then. So I rinsed off all of the face masks. Wow. And I wasn't gonna tell you, but I had a little doubt, but it actually worked so well. My skin feels so hydrated and smooth. I feel like it removed all the dead skin and pores and everything. It feels so good. I mean, I was so relaxed, I almost forgot about Now that my face feels so silky and smooth and hydrated, my lips feel a little crunchy. So I'm going to make a DIY strawberry lemonade lip scrub. I like anything that sounds delicious and cute, so I'm so excited to make this. All you need to do is puree a strawberry and take the tiniest, teeny weeniest amount of lemon juice. Bloop. Perfecto. A teaspoon of honey. Okay, got it. And a teaspoon of sugar. Plop. Time to mix. Okay, so we just finished mixing it, and oh my gosh, it looks so cute. And? It smells so good. I am so excited to use this. Hopefully it works so I can save this because it smells and looks so cute. Time to put it on. I'm going to put the lip scrub on with this little Q-tip because I don't want it really to go under my nails or anything because that would be gross. But I'm so excited to see if it works. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. And here we go. Now I'm going to be making a hand and elbow scrub, but you can also use it on like your knees or your feet. I'm definitely gonna be using it on my feet because my feet are really dry. TMI, sorry. I call this one lemon scrub. You can use it anywhere that gets really dry. All you need is one third of a cup olive oil, two thirds of a cup sugar, then we're going to need to zest just a little bit of half of a lemon, Little bit more. Perfecto. Now, we're going to use my favorite thing in the kitchen, this little lemon squeezer, or any squeezer. We're just gonna plop. Wow, that fits literally perfectly. That's so satisfying. This thing is so satisfying, and it's rose gold, and it's so cute. It just squishes the lemon for you. You just push, and it squishes. I think we did it. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it's really thick. Ooh, it smells so good. I feel like this one's gonna work. I'm going to use the scrub in all of my dry areas, so like my knees and my feet, my hands, and my, sho my shoulders, my elbows, but I came into the bathtub because I thought it might be a little dirty, a little messy, so just don't wanna make a little mess on our floor, so. Time to actually test and see if it works. Oh my gosh, guys, this smells exactly like lemon Italian ice. Like, it looks identical and smells identical. I mean, look at that. Now I'm just going to apply it to my knees, feet, elbows, hands. I'm going to set it down here. Okay. Whoa! Oh, it feels so weird. Oh my gosh, it feels like slime, but like in a icicle way. Does that make sense? Okay, not really. Whatever, it's okay. <laughs> Did you see that on the floor? Applying to knees. It feels like sugar. It kind of feels nice. It feels like you're getting like a scratch without actually having to scratch. I had an itch right there. It's gone. This feels really nice. Wow. Dancers could really use this. We have gross feet. 
So smooth. Now, lastly, whoa, slippery. <laughs> Hands. This feels so good. Um. I love me some rose water toner. But I'm not gonna lie, I definitely have some Mario Badescu rose water upstairs. But for the DIY video, I'm going to make my own rose water toner. That sounds so cool. So right now, I'm just boiling two cups of water. The last ingredient to our recipe is rose petals. You need one cup of smooshed down rose petals, which is actually a lot of rose petals. You should count how many time I, times I said rose petals in that sentence. A lot of times. I picked these myself outside. Maybe it was in my backyard or the neighbors. You'll never know. You'll just need to pour your boiling water into the petals and wait for it to cool completely and put it in the refrigerator. And bam, you've got rose water. Voila! Once your rose water has completely cooled, you just have to strain it and keep all the water. <laughs> just strain all the petals. And then you're gonna take all the petals and squeeze out all the last bits of the water that's in the roses. And voila, you've got your rose water. Put it in a spray bottle and ch -ch -ch. glowy. Here is the final result. Yay! Here's my rose water. It's such a cute pink. I love this color. These roses did their job very well. Now, time for the test, the spritz, the spritz, the spray. I kind of wish I had a cuter bottle though, but we're using what we got, you know. Okay, ready? It definitely worked. Feels amazing. Am I glowy? The last spa treatment for today, I like to call it banana hair. Why? Because we use a banana. Wow, my title is so creative. I'm so creative. You might be able to hear it, but I'm boiling, boiling some water right now. We're going to blend the banana until there is zero lumps, and then we will add some oil. One fourth oil. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It has to be like an overly ripe banana, so it like mushes, you know? good for your hair. Bananas have lots of potassium, natural oils, and vitamins, which helps your hair's texture and just keeps it way healthier. It's really good for dry or damaged hair because it helps prevent split ends and breakage. I'm going to put my banana mixture aside for a second, and I am going to steam my hair. So first, I just gotta take my hair out. Then I'm going to take this top off very carefully. I mean, yeah, because it's hot. And then make sure that the steam doesn't all come out in like one second. I'm going to put my head like this and keep the steam in. So, ready? Here we go. Whoa! Ah! There we go. See you in 10 minutes. All right, guys, I'm in the shower and I'm going to coat my hair with this banana oil mixture evenly coat it and I'll be back in 30 minutes. I guess I'll feel like a banana head or a banana bread. All right, bye. All right guys, the banana mixture is on my hair. This is what it looks like. Wow. Now I just have to wait 30 minutes and shampoo and condition it and rinse it out. And I guess that's it. That's the end of my spa day. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh guys, I feel so relaxed, soft, and smooth. I've never felt this good in my life. And guess how much money I spent? Zero dollars. I spent no money. I had everything at this house right here. Well, that's it for today's episode of Boredom Buster. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And press the notification button.